Hello everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at the amazing heat wave weapon. Now, you might miss it, you might, but this weapon has a very, very great secret. You see, when I actually shoot with this weapon, you know, it shoots horizontally, right? And it takes some time, of course, eliminating a single target. Now, this is, this is great when enemies kind of run horizontally, and you need to kind of make sure that you put a few bullets, right? Instead of just shooting one bullet and missing, right? So you have several bullets and you shoot them horizontally. Enemies kind of moving, or maybe there are a group of enemies and you want to maximize the chance of actually hitting enemies, you can shoot horizontally. But I'm saying horizontally because there's also an option to shoot with this weapon vertically, which is very, it's amazing just to take single target very quickly. Or if you find kind of a, a player that kind of enjoy jumping like rabbit, you know, well, this player gonna have a big problem. So you can see I'm changing from horizontally to vertically and of course when enemies are standing still or just moving a bit and I want to make sure that they put many bullets in to the body uh, for a single target, this is absolutely uh, the best choice. So you can actually switch between the two by using right click and find out you know, uh, which enemy, how it depends on how they move, you kind of change the orientation. This is give you lots of versatility in many different situations and also being able to adapt to different type of games, gameplay style of other players. Some of them just run and shoot, some of them might kind of uh, try to close on you by jumping up and shoot, and then, then you have an advantage. If somebody rushes at you, jumping up, for example, with a grappling shot, they're in the air, it's very high to kind of put one shot when enemies move into there, right? But with this one, you have a chance to put lots of uh, bullets into the body of the enemies because uh, you're gonna release lots of bullets vertically. Let's take a look at more gameplay. But keep attention to one of the biggest downsides of this weapon is a very long reload time. What an extraordinary weapon! Now another thing to keep in mind is the bullets actually ricochet uh, over surfaces. You see, you can actually see how they move. So basically, even if you don't have a kind of a very clear line of sight, you can just shoot walls and hopefully, you know, some of the bullets will just land in. Maybe force the players to actually get out of cover when they're actually hiding. And you can actually have an advantage compared to other weapons when you don't actually be able to ricochet bullets like this weapon does. You're rather terrifying with that thing. Killing spree. Power items now available. So when enemies are moving kind of left, right, trying to play with you horizontally, you can actually use this one. And when you see them kind of standing still, you can maximize the damage, but just make sure you shoot uh, those uh, vertical shots. Here I see several enemies, so I kind of changing now to horizontally. As you can see, all the bullets are kind of running inside. This is a pretty bad place for them to be uh, when I'm using this weapon inside the tunnel. But you can see, you can actually, if you're in the last bullet, you can actually reload relatively fast, relatively, right? And release one bullet. So you don't need to really reload uh, when you get to uh, one bullet. You can actually just shoot and it's going to reload partially and then you can shoot again, as you can see. So partial load of this will actually, you know, if you leave it fully, it will just load one, two, three. But if you just load it just shortly, it will put one bullet and then you can shoot it immediately. So overall, I think it's a very, very versatile weapon. I'm definitely going to play with this more. Now you can see actually why it's very, very powerful, especially in certain map, especially cold close quarters, when you're kind of inside, you know, like at the tunnel there, or when you see kind of a group of enemies and face to face, if you really want to kind of deal lots of damage, you just change to vertically and you're going to deal lots of damage to enemies. Amazing weapon in my opinion. Again, it has disadvantages, but advantages as well. So again, what do you think about this weapon? Let me know in the comment section below. I see you soon with a more cool, Hello Infinite Content, see you soon, bye bye. Active camera available. Oh! <coughs>